Hey guys, welcome to day 30 of 50 Days of Prayer. Today I'm reading from Acts 14, verses 19 through to 28, and I'm reading from Message Version. Then some Jews from Antioch and Iconium caught up with them and turned the fickle crowd against them. They beat Paul unconscious, dragged him outside the town and left him for dead. But as the disciples gathered around him, he came and got up. He went back into town and the next day left with Barnabas for Derby. After proclaiming the message in Derby and establishing a strong core of disciples, they retraced their steps to Lystra, then Iconium and then Antioch, putting grit in the lives of the disciples urging them to stick with what they had begun to believe and not quit, making it clear to them that it would, wouldn't be easy. Anyone signing up for the kingdom of God has to go through plenty of hard times. Paul and Barnabas handpicked leaders to each church. After praying, their prayers intensified by fasting. They presented their new leaders to the master to whom they had entrusted their lives. Working their way back to Pisidia, they came to Pamphylia and preached in Perga. Finally, they made it to Atalia and caught a ship back to Antioch, where it had all started, launched by God's grace and now safely home by God's grace. A good piece of work. On arrival, they got the church together and reported on their trip, telling in detail how God had used them to throw the door of faith wide open so people of all nations could come streaming in. Then they settled down for a long leisurely visit with the disciples. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for today's reading. We can see through the disciples that anyone signing up for the kingdom of God has to go through plenty of hard times. And we pray, Lord, for our own hard times. Whether that be in our personal life. Whether that be through work. Whether that be through friendships or relationships. Any hard times we're going through, Lord, we thank you that you walk with us. This story shows us how we are called to travel and share the gospel with all. We thank you that you, you launch us by your grace and you also bring us home by your grace. Be with us now, we pray. Amen.